Well, in Friday's business report, U.S. markets open lower on GE earnings and corporate news. Here's Africa 54's business correspondent Jill Malandrino reporting from NASDAQ in New York. Good afternoon from the NASDAQ market site in New York City. U.S. stocks open down to kick off Friday morning. We can see the S&P 500 down just about half a percent, erasing gains for the week, largely in part to disappointing earnings out of General Electric. Now, there's a lot of corporate news. Uh, we saw last night British American Tobacco has offered to buy the 58% of Reynolds American, it doesn't already own for $47 billion in cash and shares, a 20% premium to the last closing price. In other corporate news, senior executives at AT&T and Time Warner met in recent weeks to discuss business strategies, including a possible merger. Now, this is according to sources. And just this morning, according to sources again, Qualcomm is offering $110 per share for NXP Semi. So there's a lot going on in the M&A news. Now, the big news this week in the States has been the national election and the further divide it's creating between the Trump and Clinton supporters. This truly is a case where reality is more interesting than fiction. Most analysts do not expect the markets to be affected just from the results alone. Historically, despite the real short-term risk of volatility and potential policy uncertainties, the likely long-term outcome of the election is continued economic growth and consequent market gains. But this is why Africans and the continent have to care. As you know, I hosted a series of interviews at the NASDAQ market site for the Africa Investor Summit. This was the same week that President Obama was at the United Nations for another event, uh, and the theme was aid to trade to institutional investment, where the U.S. is putting a lot of money in to African investments. And I think this is going to be one of President Barack Obama's legacies of his presidency, the continued investment and how Africa has become a big focal point for the U.S. So a Trump win with his more protectionist ideals might not be good for that investment and trade, whereas you would think Hillary Clinton would continue with Barack Obama's uh, policies, as well as her husband, who started um, AGOA, which has been one of the largest investments that have been made into the continent. From the Nasdaq market site in New York, I'm Joe Malandrino for Africa 54.